Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the unboxing and hands-on with the Cricut Wireless ZTE Blade X Max. So first of all, I want to give a big shout out to ZTE for sending this device out to me for review. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the contents that comes in the box, and as well as giving you the hands-on and showing you some of the features that this device has to offer. So taking a look at the back of the box gives you some specifications there. Getting a large 6-inch Full HD, that's 1080p display, with a dragon tail glass, a 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 in the front, fingerprint sensor on this device, as well as enhanced video streaming and Dolby Audio surround sound on this device. So let me go ahead and grab my unboxing knife, as you can see there. This little piece of plastic that is keeping the device sealed. So let me go ahead and cut that real quick so we can get into this unboxing here. So there we go. Let me go ahead and put the unboxing knife away and super excited to unbox this for you guys. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and open up the box there. And then you do have some reading material sitting right up on top, as well as some writing on top of the box right there. As you can see, this one's just right for you. So hopefully this unboxing and hands-on does give you some you know, more um, information if this device is gonna be the device for you. And again, I'll be doing a full review on the ZTE Blade X Max, but the first reading material we get out of the box is a clear and simple quick start guide as well as your sim card ejector tool now i gotta say this is probably one of the detailed most informative pamphlets i've ever seen um, coming out of a box of a device i mean it just gives you so much information which is great i mean this might be your first smartphone and this pamphlet will basically give you a lot of information so moving on from that we have the device sitting right beneath there as you can see, packaged nice. You got this nice plastic sleeve uh, covering it. I'm gonna place the device to the side, go through the rest of the contents, and then we'll come back to it. So opening up the second portion, you are presented with your Cricut Wireless SIM card. Now I won't be using this because I already have a account with them, so I'll be using my own SIM card as well as a product safety and warranty information, which is pretty standard, and as well as a terms and condition uh, booklet there. I'm gonna place that off to the side as well. Now you also get a USB Type-C data cable with this because this device provides Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0, which is excellent. You should get some good charging times out of this. And then you also get your wall brick there. Uh, but looking at the specifications of this wall brick, you might have to purchase a second wall brick, which is gonna provide the current so you can have that Quick Charge 2.0. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now let's get to the device. There it is. Let's go ahead and remove it from this plastic sleeve and very nice looking all black colored in the front right there. Um, you got some ZTE branding up on top, five megapixel front facing camera. Uh, welcome to Cricut, we're thrilled you're here. Looks very, very nice with that six inch display. Now moving on to the right hand side of the device, you get your volume rockers right there, as well as your textured power button which sits right below the volume rocker. So it looks like there's pretty good space and it is textured, which is nice. Moving your way to the bottom of the device, you get your USB Type-C charging port as well as a mic. And then moving to the left-hand side of the device is gonna give you access to your SIM card and your micro SD card for expandable storage. Now this device has 32 gigabytes of internal memory and the website says it is expandable up to 128 gigabytes. Uh, is the headphone jack as well as the noise cancellation mic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of this device where you're getting a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. Right below that is the flash, and below the flash is your fingerprint sensor, which also doubles up as a heart rate monitor, which is pretty nice. Cricket branding right beneath that, ZTE branding on the bottom, as well as a backfiring speaker. Um, it's a very glossy, kind of plasticky color. Does pick up some fingerprints, and uh, but I mean, overall, it's a nice um, blue colored look to the back of it there. So let's go ahead and power this device on, see if it got any juice in it, and yeah. Yes, it does, ZTE Blade X Max. Go ahead and remove this uh, pre-installed screen protector there. So there we have it, powered by Android. So I'm gonna basically get this device all set up, ready to go, and then I will be right back, walk you through this device, show you some of the features this device has to offer. 
Okay, so I am back. I got the device all set up. So, wow, really nice six inch display. Now you got your Google folder there, which is basically gonna provide you with Gmail, Maps, YouTube, uh, photos, just to name a few applications that are pre-installed. Uh, moving on from there, let's jump into the messaging application because always in my unboxings and first impressions and hands-on, I show you the keyboard, the emojis that are pre-installed on this device. So it looks like you got a little search option there in the keyboard, which is a pretty nice feature. And then moving on from there are the emojis, as you can see. And um, I'll kind of go through a couple of these different uh, options you have here. Let's go to the next one there. So, and then you also got some options on the bottom there as well. So pretty nice looking keyboard and let's move on from there. See what else we got. So you got some uh, pre-installed Cricut application. You got Deezer, Amazon. Let's jump into the app drawer here and see what pre-installed applications we have. Now you also got a option here in the app drawer where you can search for specific applications, which is pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead and go further down. So you got Dolby Audio on this device. So very, very similar to like the ZTE Z Max Pro. So you get Dolby Audio, kind of give you a sample here. Go ahead and increase the volume so you can kind of hear um, how good the performance is with that backfiring speaker. So moving on from there, you also get FM radio on this device. And um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, you know, you got some just some pre-installed Cricut applications, nothing big. Uh, holding it down on the home screen there, you do get your different wallpapers. Now, what I like about this is you can actually change the lock screen wallpapers and the home screen wallpapers all just in the same page right here, which is really nice. You don't have to jump around into settings. You can do it right there on the home screen, which is pretty nice. And you get some pretty, you know, nice, vibrant looking uh, pre-installed wallpapers. You also get access to your widgets just by long pressing on the home screen. You got two different themes there. You got the stock Android theme and then a sports theme. You also get another option in home, which is a way you can change the transition effect in your home screen, which I really like the customizable features you are getting on the ZTE Blade X Max. So moving on from there, I mean, even though this is a pretty large device, I mean, I can still reach the top notification bar, the status bar there. So depending on the size of your hands, you can actually kind of use this one-handed, but um, if you have smaller hands, this will definitely be a two-handed device. So pulling down the status bar there, you do get access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile hotspot. Um, you can edit this as well, so you can kind of rearrange these quick toggles to your liking. You got data saver there nearby. Uh, let's jump into settings now. And one thing I want to mention is that this device does not have NFC. So you're not going to be able to do Android Pay or Android Beam. So just kind of keep that in mind. Moving on to display, you got adaptive brightness on this. Um, you can have the battery percentage showing up on top there. You also have an option to press the power button twice to launch the camera. Ambient display, change the font size, change the display size as well pulse notification light. So you get a lot of great features here in the settings. So let's go ahead and scroll down and see what else we see here. And let's go ahead and jump into storage. So this device has 32 gigabytes of internal storage as well as access to a micro SD card. So you can be able to expand that. So that is excellent on this device. So navigation key, so you can kind of rearrange these. I personally like the back button on the right hand side. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the fingerprint sensor and then I'll show you how easy it is to register your fingerprint. Um, it's really, really simple. All you got to do is just press uh, up and down on the back right there. And it's a very, very simple process. As you can see here, just scan different portions of your fingerprint there and it is basically done. You're good to go and you can actually register up to five fingerprints on the ZTE Blade X Max and the fingerprint sensor is actually pretty fast in my opinion. I mean, I'm very pleased with the speed of the fingerprint sensor. You also get different options here so you can quick open an app, take a photo, answer a call just with your fingerprint. So great features on this device. Let's, let's go into about phone. Now this does have March 1st security patch as well as Android 7.1.1, which is great to see on this. I mean, not even my LG G5 or V20 have that yet. So it's good to see you get 7.1.1 on the ZTE Blade X Max. 
Moving on to the camera here, I'll touch a little bit on the 13 megapixel rear camera, not so much the front facing camera. I'll go into more detail in the full review, but just wanna show you some features here. You are getting manual controls on this device, which is great. You can be able to control like the white balance, the ISO, the shutter speed. So you're gonna get some good features in the camera department. I mean, very, very similar to the ZTE Z Max Pro. Um, recording, so another feature I like is the fact when you are recording a video, you have the option to take a photo while recording, which is great. You can also pause and then resume recording, which is a nice feature. I know there's some smartphones out there that don't offer that. Um, you also get time-lapse mode on this device and going into video quality there, you can record in 1080p resolution. Um, you got geotagging on this as well. And then you got some different filters to choose from. So, you know, you can have some fun with your photos. And again, in the full review, I'll go into more detail about the camera, low light and everything like that. So I know a lot of us are thinking about picking this device up for media consumption, whether you like to watch Netflix videos, YouTube, because this has a big six inch display. And I gotta say, the display looks beautiful. It's a 1080p resolution display. YouTube videos are gonna be able to watch in 1080p at 60 frames per second. So you get good viewing angles on this device. Um, audio sounds good. Even though it's a backfiring speaker, uh, it does produce some good audio. So I gotta say, you're gonna have a pretty good media consumption experience. And with the screen real estate you're getting, it's gonna be great. So there you have it. There was the hands-on unboxing of the ZTE Blade X Max. So definitely stay tuned for my full review in about a week. Um, but I thank you for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy, and please subscribe for more future videos. This is Paul Tech, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.